Hi, I'm Cheryl from Stamping and Crafting with Cheryl Diana. Today I'm doing a YouTube video for the World Card Making Day. My theme for this year's World Card Making Day is good manners and more importantly saying thank you. Did you know that by saying thank you you are being polite and courteous to other people and you show someone that you care about them. Also, by saying thank you, you are, also by saying thank you, it means that you appreciate what someone has done for you. It's a polite expression to be used when acknowledging a gift, a service you've received, or even a compliment. By saying thank you, you are making that person feel valued. So, I'm going to make a thank you card. It could be a thank you for a gift I've received, or maybe an order for some product, or even attending a class. So I'm going to show you how I made my pop-up said thank you card. Let's get crafting. So, I have cut my card base, which is seven inches by 10 inches, and I've scored at two and a half inches, and again at five inches. I'm using the fresh freezer cardstock this time. I have then cut my matte layers using basic white cardstock. So I've got these three, I've cut two, six and three quarter inches by two and a quarter inches and one that's four and three quarter inches and six and three quarter inches using the perfectly penciled designer series paper which look like this you can use any one of these designs for this card I have chosen to use this one. I then cut one piece, four and a half inches by six and a half, and two pieces, two inches by six and a half. I then started to color these in using the soft succulent light blend soft succulent dark blend the fresh freesia light blend and the fresh freesia dark blend i've been using the shadows to tell me where i need to put the darker blend so just finishing these off I then cut one three inch by three inch square of fresh freesia and two two and a half inch squares. Next, I cut a two and three quarter square from basic white, which will go on the three by three inch square and two two and a quarter inch squares that will go on the two and a half inch squares like so I then cut some more designer series paper one piece is two and a half inches by two and a half which will go on here and two the two inch squares which will go on these two so we'll color these in I start off with the soft succulent and colouring the leaves. If you don't have blends, you can always use watercolour pencils or your stamping markers. I tend to, to use the same colour on all the pieces and then once I've coloured 
all the leaves in the, the soft succulent colour, the light one. I will then go and do the, the black areas like here with the darker one. Using the darker soft succulent. And also doing the underneath of each flower bud. So colouring in the flowers using the light fresh freesia. And remember that flowers are not always the same colour all the way through the solid. So we go over the dark bits on the flowers with fresh freesia. So once we have done all this, we can now start to glue the layers together. So I'm going to start layering these up. And putting them to to one side to dry. As you can see, I can wiggle them slightly because I'm using multi-purpose glue. So if it's not quite straight, I can wriggle it until it's where where I need it to be. Okay, so now we can start building the card up. I'm going to start by bone folding the creases on the card base. 
and using the bone folder to make sure we have a nice crisp fold. Right. Now I can glue in the um, matte layers. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry. So using the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set, I'm going to stamp three butterflies. I did have a go earlier and then die cut them out using the matching butterfly dies, but I wasn't happy with them. So I'm now going to fussy cut them instead. So by using the Fresh Freesia and the brush end this time, I'm going to colour them in. So by using the light to go over it, it again, I can build up darker shades of it. So you can see that side's a lot darker than this side. And then I'm going to use the light, the dark one, just to highlight some bits around the edges. And you basically keep keep going, colouring it in until you're happy with how it's turned out. body I'm going to use grey granite. I'll start with the light. And then go over with the dark. So I'm now going to fussy cut them out. So, start building the card up. So, I need to fix these 
so they go down like that now this will overlap slightly remember we need to glue on half of the square so. And again, using the multi-purpose glue means I've got wiggle room to wiggle it into place. Which way looks best? That way. If you're not sure which side it is, you can always grab a pencil and put an X on it to know which side to glue. Remember, line up the bottom so they get a nice straight line there. Now, the inside is a little bit complicated, and for that, I have cut the piece three inches by four inches, and I've scored at one inch, two inch, and three inches, and folded it up. And I need to glue here and here. So what I need to do is mark down here at two inches and five inches. So I'm just going to go just this side of the the crease. The card is seven inches. So if I come in five and two. And this is where this will be stuck. Okay. So I'm going to glue. I've actually written glue on it, so I know which size to do. So I'm going to glue this side. And with the two cent two inch line matching the middle of the card, I'm going to stick it like that. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this as well. And glue it. and fold it down a bit better so I get crisp edges. Okay. So when that folds up, that's going to go like that. bone fold my edges again because this one's now getting quite fat okay now taking the bigger rectangle we know it's going to be go on here but if I close it like that you see I've got a bit sticking over so what we need to do is to turn it over, make sure I get the right corner that I want to use, lay it in, close the card, whoops, and where it overlaps the edge, just mark it, and I'm going to cut that off. So when I stick it here and it closes, it will fit. So I just need a little bit of glue on this one. Just make 
make sure that that's all lined up neatly. I'm just going to let that dry. In the meantime, while it's drying, I'm going to do my sentiment. As we said that um, good manners, it's always nice to say thank you. So I'm going to be using the go-to greetings stamp set because I've got one, two, three thank yous on here. And I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to use one of the banners from the Stylist Shapes dies. Because that will just fit that nicely and it will look nice there as well. So, so using, I think we'll go for Placido Black Memento again. To tie in with the outline of the flowers and the butterflies. And to ink that up. Happy with that, and then I'm going to die cut it out like so. Now that's now stuck really well, so they're going to, to add some Winca Stella to my butterflies to make them glimmer in the light. So I can add these to the squares and I will add this probably there. I'm going to raise that up on dimensionals. Okay, and then I'm just going to bend these slightly. And I'm going to glue them down the middle. Bubble glue down the middle. Pop it on there. And then to finish it off, I'm going to use the 2021-2023 in colour opal rounds because that will match with the fresh freesia in this card. So I'm going to stick just oops just them randomly so they just add a little bit of bling I'll put a small one there and maybe another one down there whoops move that down a bit and another big one probably this corner I hope you have enjoyed seeing my YouTube video of how I made my pop-up Z card. Um, instructions will be available and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.